Hello and welcome to today's tutorial all about setting up shipping costs on your Squarespace website. I'm Katherine Forbes, founder of Designing the Row. I am a Squarespace expert, Squarespace authorized trainer, and Squarespace circle member. That's always a lot to say. So let's just dive right in. So you can see I'm logged into my website. I've got the sidebar over here on the left. I'm going to click into commerce and then scroll down a little bit and you can see shipping. Click into that. And I don't currently have a store on my website so I don't have shipping options set up. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So all you have to do is click add shipping option, this button right here. And it gives you a couple options. I don't have the advanced commerce package. Obviously I don't have a store, I don't need that. Um, and what I do for my clients mostly is just the flat rate option and depending on weight option, which you see are available to us right here. So flat rate, I'll click into this and show you. You can give it a name, put your flat rate fee in here, and then this per um, fee per item. Say someone orders two shirts from your website, that means the package is going to get a little heavier. So maybe your flat rate is going to be $5.00. And if anybody orders two t-shirts, you can put maybe like a dollar here. And so if someone orders two shirts, then their shipping would be $6. So let's just say U.S. shipping, $5 flat rate, $1 per additional item. Then click over to this shipping zones here. And since I called it U.S. shipping, I'm going to type in United States and select that right there. And then hit save. And now it's applied to the store on your website. It's really that easy. Um, I'm going to click this add shipping option again and show you depending on weight. This is usually what I like to do. Um, I'll call this one, let's call this one international shipping since we already have a US shipping. Um, and you can see here it gives us options to put in shipping rate based on the weight of what people have ordered. So working with you musicians, a lot of times they're selling CDs, vinyls, t-shirts, maybe a hat or a mug. And as you can guess, a CD is going to cost a lot less to ship than a vinyl is. So I put in, when I'm building the store out, I will put in weight, a certain weight. I usually put in 0.7 pounds for a CD. And then what I do here, you can see zero to one pound. Let's change that to, let's just say $5. And then let's go, I'm gonna click this add to add some more options. Um, I usually put in vinyl at a pound and a half. Now they don't have to weigh this exact weight, but that just puts them in those two different weight classes for me. So let's say $8 if your order weighs one to two pounds. Um, that also means if you would order two CDs, that would bump you up to that second weight class. So your shipping would be $8 instead of 5 if you order two CDs. So similar to the flat rate, but in this case it's more depending on weight, which is better if you have a lot of items in your store that weigh a lot of different things. And then you can just keep adding here. You can click in here to change, like if I wanted this to be two to four pounds, then I could do that. And just keep adding as you wish. And then the same thing we did for flat rate, click on shipping zones. And you can see when I select this add country here, I can click on rest of the world. So you can make rules for as many different countries as you want. And then when you are ready to just make a blanket rule for everybody else, click rest of the world and then save. So that's how easy it is to set up shipping options on Squarespace. I'd recommend doing the flat rate if you have the same type of product on your store, just one product. If you're selling like all CDs, the flat rate might be fine for you, but if you have a variety of different size and weight products, I would recommend doing it by weight. I think that should that's really it. Um, There'll be another video about setting up the store end of things, so setting up the products, um, which you can refer to as to set up your store. This is just how to set up the shipping for your store.
So if you have any questions about shipping or e-commerce on Squarespace, just leave me your questions in the comment below. Thank you so much for watching.